Hello, good morning, Sergio. I'm waiting for the video. Yes, it's, it's easy. <laughs> is that is that even possible? <laughs> yes, but you need to start slowly. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. but that's like a technique, right? For the for the things for the baquetas yeah. to sound like that and the fit too. In English, it's complicated explaining, but you need to use the técnica de dedos y de muñeca. Y ah. para los pies, es, 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 es son ejercicios de paradiles. Oh. Que comienza uno lento, un, dos, un, dos, en los dos pies. Okay. Para, para empezar más rápido con las manos. Uh -huh. Yeah, but to get to that point, it will take years, I imagine. <laughs> right? Yes. Well, Probably one day I'll see you playing like that. Yeah, probably. But in, in my social in social media, I don't... Uh, you don't upload, upload anything. <laughs> right. Hello, Mario. How you doing? Hello, Dora, Carolina, Gia, Rosemary, Gia Millet. How are you today, guys? Walter, welcome. How's life? Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hi. everyone. So tell me, how, 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 how's it going? How, how's your life going? Everything's good? You're fine? Are you okay, Carolina? You're tired? You look tired. How much, teacher? I am oh sick, yeah. You're sick? Bit. Wow, you got a flu? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Have you drink tequila? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, any, 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 any pills? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The it's best wrong. medicine. Uh. No. 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 I mean, it's aspirina. You know. <laughs> or a margarita. <laughs> it takes it away like this. Hello, Nadeline. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm very good today. Nice. Nice. Why you don't? Why don't you like to have your hair loose? Why don't you always have a ponytail? Why? 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 Azucena, welcome. Rosibel, welcome. Tatiana, Maria Jose. Misael Enriquez. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi, teacher. Good How's morning. it going, Misael? How do I close this? Cerrar doc. Initiate session. Already, thank you so much for your punctuality. Remember, every minute counts, every second counts. You have to be connected from the very beginning. Better to be earlier than to be late. Hello, Maricela, how are you? Teacher, I only Hello, went teacher. here to because I'm away from home, but I expect to be home in 45 minutes, okay? Jose Roberto, thank you. So let's begin. Today, Julie, 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 Julie. I remember I had a I had a, a classmate at the university. Her name was Julie, but we didn't get along. Today is July the twentieth, twenty twenty three. Thursday, guys. Thursday. One more day, and you rest. So. Almost there, almost there, and we've almost finished too. Did you have a homework, guys? No homework? I remember I assigned a homework. No homework? No. No, teacher. Hmm? No, 
Okay. Hi, Adriana. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Yesenia, hello. Ah, oh, you want Yesenia. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. So, as always, we are going to review the class. Tell me, what did we talk about yesterday? What did we do yesterday? I'll go directly to Sergio. What do you remember about yesterday's class? Future continuous. Okay. We used again the future continuous. What is the structure for the future continuous, Gabriela? You wear glasses? Yeah. <laughs> I never it's seen them. Verb to be, verb uh -huh. with ing and complement. And the complement. All right, all right, all right. And what else, Walter? What do you remember from yesterday? Guys, ahora no le voy a decir cuando tomen la captura, así que keep your cameras on. Ah. Yes, Walter? Uh, you use the good life. What for? In question form. What for? Uh, good. Would like to to go with me to the park, for example. Yeah, we use would like to to make what? Invitation. Invitation. About invitation. Making invitation. Making invitation. To, uh, for making invitations. Is it okay if I say, for example, Gabriela, would you like to go in? To the movies with me? Is it good? Yes, I would like. Yeah. But the question is it correct? Correct? Listen, would you like to go into the movies with me? Is it fine? No. No. Why not? No. There is the verb. So what is the correct form, Victor? Uh, would you like to go? Yes, to the the in the compliment. Yeah, would you like to go? Right, infinitive to and the verb. Would you like to go? Would you like to drink? Would you like to visit? Would you like to accompany me? Whatever. Mm. Victor, can you give me an example? Invite one of your classmates to do something. Mm, okay. Uh, neither uh, would you like to go to the cinema with me? Um, no, I can't because no. I have another plans today. Sorry, Victor. No Barbie movie with neither. <laughs> have you watched the Barbie movie? It's very famous nowadays. <laughs> okay, very good. Nidalin, your turn. Walter, uh, would you like to go to the park in the afternoon with me? Uh, I like, but I can't because I go to the shore with my friends. To the church? Yes. Okay, nice. I'm sorry, Nadeline. No, no park with Walter. <laughs> Walter, your turn. Okay. Uh, Mario, would you allowed to go with the party with me and some friends? Um, no, Walter. I have another plan. Sorry. Wow, nobody wants to do anything with anybody here. <laughs> Mario, the last the last question. Okay. Um uh, Carolina. Uh, Carolina, uh, would you be interested in coming uh, uh see movies with me yes of course all right perfect watch netflix huh <laughs> all right very good so that is what we <laughs> 
That's what we learned yesterday, right? How to make invitations using would you like to, how to accept, how to refuse, politely, right? Not straight, no, but mm, I'm sorry, I can't. I have other plans. Oh, I love to, but I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hello, Liz. How are you? Hello, good morning. morning. I'm fine. And you? Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. All right. So let's continue. Here I have some pictures. And this is what you are going to do. Mm, I don't want to read today. Walter, can you read the instructions? Okay. Look at the pictures shared with one of your classmates, your plan. Based on, on the pictures, use present continuum. Invite your classmate to do to activity with you, accept or refuse the invitation. All right. Remember the last part of the class yesterday where you, you made like a short dialogue you share your plan and then you invite a person. So we're gonna do it again. You're gonna do it like this. We're gonna start with this one. Like, let's see. Um, Victor, hey, what's up? How you doing, Victor? Oh, um, I am uh, playing uh, surf. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I will invite you right now. I will make the invitation and then you will refuse or accept. But remember the conversation from the beginning with the greeting and everything. But let's start over. Hi, Victor. What's up? How are you doing? Um, I'm fine. A uh, long time to see you, Neri. Yeah, since yesterday. It was a very long time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm planning on surfing this coming Saturday, but nobody else wants to go with me. Would you like to come to El Tunco Beach with me and do some surfing? Um... That's amazing, but mm, on Saturday I am traveling with my sister, so sorry, but... No I problem. Can't. Bring her on. <laughs> no, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the invite, but I can, really, I can. How about on Sunday? Would you like to go on Sunday? On Sunday? Um, that sounds great, and... Um, but uh, I don't know um, because on Sunday I'm uh, uh, cooking and with my mother and you know that uh, my mother uh, <laughs> it's a, a little bit uh, angry. So I know if you're not there <laughs> cooking, she will get mad. All right, Victor, yeah. that's fine. Probably in another time. Right? Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. See you soon. See you. Right. Now, Victor, you pick somebody pick another image, the second one, and make the dialogue. Okay, uh, with with other classmates or? Yeah, with, with the yeah. classmate. Mm. Hello, Alan, welcome. Anybody? Azucena. Okay. Tell me. Okay. Okay, hello, Susana. Hello, Victor. How are you? I'm fine. I'm uh, uh, really happy because I want to. I want to invite you. Uh, 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 I want activity. Okay, tell me. And so, um. On Friday, I am uh, doing exercise uh, with uh, my brother. And so, would you like to do exercise with us? Um, thank you. I appreciate it, but I can't. Why? My mom doesn't let me. No. It, that's unbelievable. Uh, you can tell her that. Uh, it's a good plan. I know, I know, but she's really angry. Maybe another day. Okay. 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 Another day. Uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. I will see you soon. <laughs> see you. Nice. Very good. Give a round of applause, people. Azucena, you're up. Hi, Adriana. 
Ok. Um, Marisela. Ajá. Uh -huh. How are you doing, Marisela? Hi, Susana. I am studying. And you? How are you? I'm so good. Uh, uh, I want to tell you something. Would you like to be interested in, in going at the beach with me? Yes, uh, I like that. Okay, uh, what about the next Sunday? I need to uh, go to the shopping with my boyfriend. Okay, and the next Saturday? Are you free? Yes, I'm free the next Saturday. Okay, let's see. Bye. Take care. Take care. <laughs> Thank you, very good. Give them a round of applause, people. Yes, Maricela, one thing, when you use the verb need, you use to. I need to go okay. shopping. I need to go, okay. Uh -huh. I need to go shopping. And Azucena, Azu, it's either, it's one, either would you like to, or would you be interested in? Either or, but not combined. Would you like to go to the beach? Or would you be interested in going to the beach? The second one. All right. I said the second one. Okay, nice. Maricela, your turn. Let me see. Nidely. Uh, use this, 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 this. Nidely. Uh -huh. Hi, Nidely. How are you? Hi, Maricela. I'm fine and you. Very well. Uh, I think um, I go to shopping next week. And would you like? Would you like? Let me see. Would you like to come with me? Mm, that that sounds good. I would like to go. Repeat. Ah. Uh, that that sounds good and uh, what i would like to go perfect i want to uh, buy new shares in you what <laughs> uh can you repeat this i want to buy a new shirt and in you uh, I need, I need to buy a, a new dress. New dress. Okay, yes. perfect. See you, Nidaline. See you, Marisela. Bye. Nice. Give them a round of applause, people. Very good. Nidaline, you're up. Oh, wait. Remember, yes. try to use the present continuous to make the uh, to talk about the future plan. I'm shopping on Saturday. Okay. Yes, Victor. Okay. No teacher is on a clap. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. So, Nidaline. <laughs> Who? Mario. Mario. Okay, this Mario. this one. Okay. Um. Hi, Mario. How are you? Hi. Hi, Nidaline. Everything okay? How about you? I'm very, very good. Uh, I am I am traveling to the San Salto. I'm traveling to the Bucheron on Sunday, and I want to invite you. Would you like to go with me? Yes, sure. That song really great the volcano the san salvador volcano is my is one of my favorite place so i really happy to go with you oh it's really good and so i see you on sunday yes yes okay mario thank you and goodbye goodbye Nadeline. thank you mm -hmm. Nice, good job. Give them a round of applause. Good job. 
Right, Mario, you're up. Use this picture. To, this is your plan. Si ven la pantalla, vea. Sí. Right. Yes. Right. We can see. Um, Walter. Hello, Walter. How are you doing? I am very good. And you? Everything okay. Uh, I am planning for Sunday to do um, a tennis a tennis a game. So uh, I want to ask you if uh, if you will if you will to be interested in coming at the game with me? Yes, that's some fun, but I can't play tennis. It's difficult. No, really, it's very easy. So me and my friends uh, currently uh, are learning that sport. So so it's easy. Okay, you teach me. Okay. That's all good. Okay, great. So uh, the game is on Sunday. So uh, I want to see you. Okay. What time is the game? At the in the morning at eight o'clock. Okay. See you. Okay. Later. See you. What's that? Nice. Good job. Perfect. Give him a round of applause. You set the time, but you didn't set the place. So Walter is going to be like, yonder el huevo, right? Like, huh? Walter, you're next. This. Okay. Hello, Catherine. Uh, Alan. Are you at the mall? <laughs> okay. Alan? Okay. Alan, what's up, man? What's up? How are you? Uh, I'm pretty good, thank you. And you? I I am very well. Uh, today I want to drive in motorcycle for first time. Would you like come with me? It's your first time? Yes. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. I, I like my life and I, I appreciate the invitation. Thank you. Okay, no problem. See you later. See you later. <laughs> I would, I, would have, I would have said the same too. I mean, if it's your first time, then think about getting anybody on the bike for the first time. <laughs> All right, okay. Alan, yo. Uh, how, how do you say, que uh, lastima? What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. You can say it like this. Or you can say that's a shame. I will say in this context, when Alan said, oh, no, hell no, hell no, never. Uh, oh, that's a shame. But when you, when you do something that is embarrassing, that you, hmm, what a shame, Victor, what a shame. See the difference? Uh -huh. yes. So when something happens and it's kind of bad, you say, oh, that, that, that's a shame. Pero cuando usted hizo algo que era embarrassing, que era así como que. How do you say embarrassing in Spanish? Vergonzoso. They tell you, what a shame, Victor, what a shame. Mm -hmm. Someone see you with another girl and your girlfriend tells you, what a shame, Victor, what a shame. Oh, wife, sorry. <laughs> right. okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Alan. You're up. Hey, Catherine. Yes, Stanley. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Alan. What are you doing? I'm taking my my English class, and I would like to invite you. Uh, yeah. Yoga, yoga. Yeah, it's right, yoga. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, yoga's class because I read in a book that uh, the yoga is. Uh, help the body to be healthy so i would like to invite you uh my yoga class when is your yoga class 
My when? dance class is in the afternoon. Is that today? Seven. Yes, today. Okay, of course. I, 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 I think it's okay. I will attend. Okay, I see you in the uh, in the and um, multi plaza. In the, okay. In the afternoon. Okay, it's okay. See you soon. See you soon. I guess he's already at Monte Plaza. <laughs> right. All right. Perfect. Good job. Where are you, Catherine? Now I'm wearing a friend because he taught putting her. He's, he's here. Okay. All right. So, so that's how you we, how we can combine both things, right? The present continues to make uh to talk about future plans and would you like to to make invitations? Um, surfing on Saturday. Would you like to come with me? I am doing some exercises on Sunday. I need to get fit. I would like. I would like to invite you. Will you go with me? I am shopping this afternoon. I am playing tennis with my friends on the weekend. I am riding my motorcycle throughout the, what's the name of this road? ¿Cómo se llama la carretera, la, la orilla de la playa? La litoral. I'm riding my bike through the litoral on Sunday. Would you, would you like to die with me? Something like that, right? Questions? No questions? All right, let's move on then. Yesterday, I noticed that there was like a like a like a like a confusion between the use of do and make. So I will try to explain to you today how do you use them. Mario, can you read the use of do? Yes, sir. Do is used when talking when talking about work, jobs, or task. Note, they do not produce any physical object. So that's do. When you talk about an activity, something physical or a task like homework, you use do, but you are not making anything new, right? You're just completing something, an assignment. Now, how about make, Misael? Can you read the use of make? Okay, make is for production. Construct, construction, creating or building something new. Producing, constructing, constructing, creating. Creating. So make, I have something and with this, I make something new. Yes, it's, it's about creating something building up something however english has a lot of rules but it has a lot of exceptions so in this case the best i can recommend you is to learn this memorize this these are some of the most common phrases with do can you read them all housework housework do housework Riches, a project, something, uh, the uh, the ironing, your hair, your the dishes, and I don't know what is the damage. I think. Which one? Uh, D D I S. Damage. Damage. So, those are some of the most common phrases with do, do damage, do the ironing. What is the ironing? What is iron? Damage, huh? In English, don't translate, explain. Mm 
Hmm. <laughs> Why are you looking up? Why are you looking up? <laughs> ah, <laughs> ahí arriba está la respuesta. El señor tiene la respuesta. <laughs> Iron. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Iron is when your clothes are all wrinkled. You unwrinkle un them with an iron. That's iron. Planchard. Any question about the vocabulary? Do you do you know all these things? No? No questions? Teacher, I don't have I have a question. Tell me, Diego. Um what is the meaning of crossword? Housework is sweeping, moping. Doing the dishes, doing the laundry, cleaning the windows, uh, cleaning the cleaning the yard or sweeping the yard. That's housework. It's like house housework. chores. Housework. Uh -huh. Housework. No, housework. I just say crossword. Ah, Is crossword. Ah, crossword. This one. Yes. Ah, crosswords are those the things that you have little pieces and you put them together. To create an image. Crucigrama. That comes from exactly. Uh -huh. oh, crossword. Okay. Cross, crossword. Uh -huh. El crucigrama. Crossword. Uh -huh. También el rompecabezas. You can call it like that. Crossword. Uh -huh. <laughs> y la sopa de letras es word search. Word search. Any other one? Yes. Dam damage. Damage. Of, yeah. You are driving your car. And you, so you damage something. Thank it's you. Like, you can say hurt, but hurt is more about feelings. Damage is about physical. Don't do damage. Mm -hmm. To your children, you can say, don't do damage in your house. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No? Yes, teacher. the right thing. What is the meaning? Do all you have. <laughs> Always do the right thing. I mean, don't make, don't do bad things. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Tell the truth. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't cheat. Don't curse. Don't say bad words. So do the right thing. Imagine this. Imagine this. You are walking down the street. And you find one hundred dollars. Yeah, you pick them up, and you see a person there. It's like, oh my God, I lost something. You do the right thing if you give the ten, uh, the hundred dollars. Yeah, I'll keep them. Yo me los quedo, but you do the right thing. Ya se han encontrado pisto. Yes. Y nada me encontré con 50 dólares en la universidad. Pobre cristiano que perdió la mensualidad, pero yo fui a comer. <laughs> All right. Any other question? No more? Teacher, what is the meaning of harm? Harm is like damage. They are synonyms. Harm is damage or hurt. Es un sinónimo okay. de dañar. Or okay. Thank no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. No. Sergio, fine. Nadelin? It's fine. No questions? Rosemary? All right. So those are with do. Here we have with make. <clears throat> Make a profit, make a noise, make a decision, make a bet, make a prediction, make a choice, make a joke, make a difference, make a list, make an excuse, make a mistake, make a connection, make a cape, and so on and so forth. Vaya, aquí es donde les decía, inglés tiene cien mil reglas y tiene cien mil excepciones. Porque, por ejemplo, en el caso acá de make a difference, pero teacher, si me acaba de decir que make es para construir algo, crear algo nuevo. Entonces, ¿por qué no es do a difference? Esas ya son collocations, se llaman, son collocations que ya están establecidas. No hay mayor explicación 
ni la van a encontrar en ningún lugar. El porqué del inglés nunca tiene un porqué. Solo es así. So, son colocations. Si usted quiere decir, Adriana, usted tiene que hacer la diferencia. You have to make the difference. O sea, ya sabe que es con make. O dinero. Do you do money or make money? Make money. You make, make money. money. Pero, teacher, si yo no agarro el papel, lo meto en la máquina y lo estoy haciendo. Yes, but it's a collocation. Ya está así. Ya está establecido. Ah, uh, confession. You do a confession or you make a confession? You make a confession. Pues sí, profe, pues si yo no le, yo no le estoy haciendo la confesión al fulano. Ni se la, no, sí, ya, ah, sí, ajá. But no, it's make and period. Así es y así es. No le busquen el por qué. No le busquen la tercera pata. Because it doesn't have a third leg. ¿Ok? Así se las tienen que aprender. Si usted quiere decir en algún ejemplo que va a ser un nuevo amigo, <ríe> con esa sí tenga mucho cuidado. Con esa sí tenga. Nunca diga do con una persona. Porque eso significa otra cosa. Y si están riendo es porque ya saben. Ja, ja. Y los que no se están riendo ahí en privado en el grupo. <ríe> But it has a different connotation. You make friends. You don't do your friends. A menos que pues sí, hay algo más ahí. Uh -huh. ¿Ven? ¿Por qué tienen que ver películas para entender la, esa, esa, ese es lenguaje coloquial? <ríe> All right. Any questions with the vocabulary here? No? Yes, what is the meaning of joke? Joke. Yes. A joke is like what I said before. I said something and you laugh <laughs> because of what I said. I made a joke. Yeah. It's broma. Okay, make and what is the meaning of beat or bet? B E T? Bet. This one? Here? Yes, yes. A bet is when you go, when you put money on something. Like okay. next, next, next week, we'll say we have an exam. I bet you guys, you will have a five in the exam. Let's bet some money on it. Mm -hmm. Never okay. bet. No, don't bet. That's not good. I used to when I lost a lot of money. Perdí como mil quinientos dólares en esos afanes una vez. So don't do it. Hmm. Anything else? No. Nope. What is the meaning of a fuss? A what? Fuss. F U S F. F U. What is it? A bowl of a sandwich. And where is a sandwich? <laughs> At the bottom. Not here. Bottom. No, make a fuss. Yes. Don't make a fuss. It's like don't make a big deal. Uh -huh. Es como no lo hagas no haga tan grande, no hagas un gran problema. No make a fuss, no hagas un berrinche de eso. No make a fuss. Uh -huh. Es que el teacher mucho bromea en la clase. Yeah, but no make a fuss, just let it be, let it be. Ok. Y a speech, I think. Speech is like when someone speaks a lot about a topic. Like the president, the president's speech. Yeah. El discurso. Make a speech. Anything else? No. Y a profit. Remember the meaning of bet? ¿Qué, qué significaba bet? Apuesta. Apuesta. Ajá. Uh -huh. So when you bet, if you win, you make a profit. Yes. Yes. Ganancia. Adriana makes makes profit out of her business. Catherine makes profit out of her business too. You invest something, ustedes invierten, and you make a profit. Y tienen una ganancia. That's make a profit. Anything else? No more? Walter? No? Mm -hmm. Does he bail? Uh, 
aligned eh, el que está abajo de make make aligned uh, aligned Alineo. That's online. Like when you go to the bank, cuando van al banco y el policía le dice, make a line, please. Uh -huh. mm. Make a line. A line. Uno detrás del otro. Uh. Una línea. No es que va a agarrar el lapicero y va a ser a line. No, no make a line. Fórmese. Uh -huh. Yep. No more? Yeah. Susana, you good? Mistake. Diego? You good, please? Hi, right, Mario. Nidalene. Rosemary. Edith. You good? Okay. Let's see if it's true. Now we're going to um, practice. Here we have to complete this with make or do. Alan, can you read the first one? Mr. Hill, mm -hmm. would rather do house, housework than watch television today. Do you all agree? You do the housework or you make the housework? Do. Do. Do, yes. Do. Would you rather do housework than watch television today? Very good. Adriana, number two. We will need to make, make a real cake for Sam because it is his birthday Thursday. Make a birthday cake. Yes, in this case, yes, it applies. Uh, Sergio, number three. Um, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Rachel doesn't want to do the washing up. She hates washing the dishes. Excellent. Do want to do the washing up. Uh, Rosibel, number four. Um, David wants to uh, um, do. Do a phone call. Mm, no. Do you all agree? No. It's make. Make, make, make a phone call. When we're talking about phone calls, we make a phone call. Walter, number five. Okay. George is going to do, do a, no. So sorry. George is going to To do an exam or make an exam? Uh, George is going to do an exam, an important exam this Monday. He's on our book. There you go. Very good. Please, number six. Scientists should, should. should make more research on daily the this not I don't know the the deadly diseases. The diseases. diseases 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 deadly diseases. Do you mm -hmm. all agree? Make research or do research? No. Do do research. Do. Yes. Scientists do should do more should. research. Uh, Catherine, number seven. If you do morning exercise regular, regularly, I regularly. Think you regularly, you will feel better. Nice. Do. Mario, number eight. If I had a real treasure map, I would make a sure? fortune. Or, yes. You sure? You look like mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Yes. I think it's me. Yeah. I will... Is it here? No. Okay. It do. Yes, here hey. it is. 
Where, ah, yes, fortune. Sí, yes. The fortune. Yes, very good, Mariana. Yes, yes, yes. Adriana, okay. number nine. Henry feels very happy because he will make business or make, do business. Make some business with the Chinese. Make? Do. Or do? Make. Make? Do. Or do? Do. Do. Or make or do. Come on, tell me the answer. Make. I guess make. Do it for work or jobs. It's do for jobs. Yeah. Do business. Do business. Okay. He um, will do some business with the Chinese. Okay. Alan. Next. Number 10. I wish my best friend Steven didn't make such joke. He really this oh sorry. He really, really disturbs disturbs me. Yeah. Disturbs me, yes. Make jokes. Very good. Nine lending number eleven. Fortune tell do predictions about people's future? Um, mm, do predictions? Or make predictions. Or make predictions. Make predictions. Make predictions. There you go. Fortune tellers make predictions about people's features. Dora, the last one. The persons do the shopping together every weekend. Perfect. Do the shopping. All right. So, see, here, don't complicate yourselves trying to understand if there's a structure or if there's a rule. Just memorize this and this. Okay? That way you will know. If I'm talking about a fortune, I make a fortune. If I'm talking about a promise, I make a promise. If I'm talking about a living, I make a living. If I'm talking about business, I do business. If I'm talking about a research, I do research. If I'm talking about a cleaning, I do the cleaning. Se las tienen que aprender only, memorizarlas. Okay? Any questions so far? No? Sure. Y the right, the right thing, ¿qué era? ¿Qué es? Lo correcto. Lo correcto. Ah, era como el ejemplo. Usted va por la calle, se encuentra 100 pesos y ve a un señor que está preocupado porque se le perdió el dinero. Ah, Entonces, ay. you do the right thing si le da el billete. <risa> Yo le hubiera dicho, vamos a comer para que se le quite el, la preocupación. Ajá. <risa> y compartimos la ganancia. <risa> All right. Ok. Next. Teacher, there's yes. more more words or only this do and oh, make. There are many more. These are like the most yeah. common. Hmm. But there are more, of course. Yeah. And you have to memorize them. Esto es como los verbos eh, regulares del pasado. No hay una estructura, no hay una forma, no hay una regla. Solo se los tienen que memorizar. Mm -hmm. Y aprendes, hello, Melvin. Ah, ya que veo a Melvin. Eh, ¿Quiénes faltaban con el diálogo? Hello. Please. Me, teacher. Ah, ¿Están listos? Yes. Ok. Who's your partner? It's Gabriela. Me? Where's Gabriela? Where are you? I'm here. Where? <laughs> can see you. Ah, oh, there you go. Turn on your camera. Ok. Whenever you're ready. Por cierto, ya tomé la primera captura. Hoy no le voy a avisar porque las cámaras tienen que estar on. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gabby, we are going to go. start. Go. Hello, Misael. It's Gabby. Hi, Gabby. I haven't heard from you for a long time. How are you? So, so. I'm cleaning my house right now because it's a little bit dirty. Really? Only you? No, with my brothers, Samuel and Tony. 
Oh, and what is Samuel doing? He's washing the bathroom. Sounds good. And what is Tony doing? He's playing with my dog now. And then he's going to clean the kitchen. Oh no, you are so busy now. It will be better if we talk later or another day. Okay, Gabby, see you later. See you, Misael. Nice, good job. Give him an applause. Perfect, just one thing, Misael. What are you trying to say? Está limpiando el cuarto? O lavando el cuarto? Eh, he's washing, washing the bathroom, baño, baño? Ah, the bathroom, yeah, the bathroom. And the things that you say, bedroom. Bathroom, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if you wash the bedroom, va a la cama. But the bathroom, yes. yes. The bathroom, okay. yes. Perfect. Good job. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Okay, Liz, who's your partner? Yesenia. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, hello, Yesenia. How are you? I guess she lost connection. It's not. Creo que se le fue la conexión porque se quedó así. Bueno. Uh, so, Simana so and Marisela, and mm -hmm. then you do it, Liz. Uh -huh. Okay. Marisela. Are you ready, Paul? Yes. Okay. Hello. Hello, Simana. It's me, Paola. It's nice to see you, Paola. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, and you? I'm very well. What are you doing? I'm going to the park. My friends are there. I'm running with them later. Sounds great. I hope you had a good time. Thanks, Mara. And what are you doing? I on my way to work. I will leave early. Would you like to go for a coffee in the afternoon? Yes, I would like to go. I will go with my sister. Okay. How is she? Mm, she's fine. Uh, you would like to meet her. She is playing piano in the house. Really? It's cool. I would uh, also like to meet her. Samara, what do you like to do in your free time? I enjoy cooking. I like listening to music and I read in books. Great. See you in the uh, afternoon, Simara. See you, Paola. Take care. That's it. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Very nice. Give them a round of applause. That was very good, Paula, Maricela. Good job. Um, Liz, let's do something. Do you have it written? Yeah. Take, take a picture and send it to me, to my WhatsApp. I will help you because Yesenia is having troubles, I guess. Adriana, okay. what's up? I am ready, teacher, but I don't have a partner. Send it to me. I will help. Well, while they are sending it, Ario, can you give me a sentence using do? Um, I want to do uh, exercise. Why? Because it's heavy. <laughs> Why? Um, uh, I don't know because it's like uh, it's like to to feel this emotion I think when I uh, when I run okay are you nervous yes a little bit why I don't know. <laughs> Alan, give me a sentence with make. <clears throat> I will make my fortune because I want to work in a cold center. Yes, you will. Right now, the salaries are up to seven, eight hundred dollars. Yes. I thought you were working in a cold center. 
No. No, my sister is working in the call center. Okay. Yeah. That's a nice place to work. All right. Yeah. Well, which one? Which one would you prefer? Mm, I heard good things about teleperformance and Telus, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure because my sister is working in teleperformance, but mm, mm, I don't know. That good. I worked there a long time ago. I don't know now, but in the past it wasn't good. The best one yeah. the time was Telus. Yes, I heard that the cons of the teleperformance uh, is a little bit complicated because is is uh, cell phones provide or no service uh, something like that. So people call that, yeah. very angry. So that happens in every place. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are crazy. Once yes. I, I used to work for a hotels account, people made reservations. And there was a time a person called me, he was in Germany, in a hotel in Germany, and he was complaining because the TV remote control didn't have batteries. And he was very angry because he didn't have batteries. And I told her, okay, just give me five days, I will go to Radio Shack, I'll buy the batteries and I'll send them to you. A mí me estaba reclamando las baterías. Ya las iba a mandar por correo. Pero... People's crazy. People's crazy. Now, Diego, give me a sentence with do. Um, Please. Did you send it? Do. Okay. I do housework. Nah, you don't. Yeah, sometimes I, I, I clean in my my bedroom uh, sometimes sometimes him um, i did the dishes and i don't know i um, i throw uh, i throw the garbage take out and uh, take out the garbage out and yeah Sí, porque if you throw it, le puede dar en la cabeza a alguien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. the garbage. Yeah. I take out the garbage. All right, Liz, I got it. So you are Liz, right? And I am Yesenia. <laughs> okay. Hello, Yesenia. How are you? Hi, Liz. I'm fine. What are you doing? Uh, I'm cooking dinner and I'm cooking lunch for tomorrow for my husband. And I'm watching news because my husband is Hi. Oh, Yesenia, do you have better connection? Can you hear me now? Yes, you have better connection? Yes, teacher. All right, so let's but, go. Let's... But I'm going to uh, try. Yes, that's okay. fine. Okay. Okay. Go, Liz. Okay. Hello, Yesenia, how are you? Hello, Liz, I am fine, thanks. What are you doing? I'm cooking dinner and I'm cooking lunch for tomorrow for my husband. And I watching news because my husband is watching TV and he is playing with our daughter. What about you? Nice, that sounds good. I'm running around the park with my friend because we run every day. What are you what are you cooking, Liz? Really, it's good for your health. I'm cooking sandwich for my dinner, for dinner, and I'm cooking beef with vegetable for lunch. Well, that is delicious. Are you cooking your favorite food? No, this is not my favorite food. Sometimes I I can cook my favorite food. Oh, uh, maybe tomorrow you you're cooking your favorite food. Maybe on the weekend I can cook my favorite food. What time are you coming home after you run at the park? I'm coming back at uh, 6 30 um, because it's my favorite hour. That's good. Okay, Yesenia, bye. See you soon. Okay, Liz, bye. See you soon. Nice. Give him a round of applause. Nice guys, good job. Just one thing, sandwiches. Do we cook sandwiches? 
guys? Me. <laughs> El gato. <laughs> we make sandwiches. Make. We make sandwiches. So what are you doing? I'm just making some sandwiches. But the rest was perfect. Good job. Okay. All right, Adriana. Okay, teacher. You Jen? Yes. Hi. Hi, Marcos. Long time no see. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. How was your vacation? Great, I had a great time. Where did you go? I went to Acapulco. And what did you do? Um, first I stayed in a five stars hotel, then I played on the beach, and finally I danced in a dance club called Palladium. Did you visit it, La Quebrada? No, I didn't. Did you buy any souvenirs? Yes, uh, here, this is for you. Really, where is it? It's a keychain. Thank you, Marcos. You're welcome. See you. Take ah, care. See you. You too. <laughs> Bye. Ape, ape. Open and close. Open and close. Nice. He was nice. He was all past. You have you know very good how to use the past. Very good. Lo que más me ha gustado de todos estos diálogos es que han tratado de hacer como una combinación de todo lo que hemos estado viendo. Which is good. Nice. Porque algunos le metieron futuro con el presente continuo. El would like to, ya que lo vimos ayer. It's nice. Congratulations, guys. ¿Falta alguien más? No. Me. Have a partner, Melvin? Uh, yes, my partner is Tatiana. Ok, Tati. Ok. Go. Hello, Tatiana. What are you doing? Hello, Melvin. I am watching a movie I rented yesterday. What is the name of the movie? Its name is Shrek. It's about a history. What is about? It is about an ogre who lives in a swamp that is invaded and together with his donkey friend, they go to scroll up princess from a dra dragon to get the swan back but in the end he falls in love with her and they get married oh i see you do you like it a lot yes i'm very excellent i liked in it from the begin beginning beginning i i see you the movies the movie is amazing you will invite me to see it uh, with you with you this weekend yes but you bring the snacks mm -hmm. i know well i have to go i am working i am cooking in the restaurant see you at the beginning uh, to weekend bye see you bye see you nice perfect give him a round of applause people okay two things only <clears throat> If I if if I want to say oh yeah oh okay ya yeah, ya yeah. bueno literalmente sería como ya veo pero oh, ah ya yeah, okay it's not exactly I see you because if I, if you say I see you es que te veo a ti solo tenemos que oh I see I see sin pronombre I see what are you doing I'm watching the Shrek movie oh I see and what is it about? Y la otra, remember, o hacemos una pregunta o decimos una afirmación. Como cuando dijeron, you will invite me. Así como que más te vale, me vas a invitar. ¿Ya? No es lo mismo decir, will you invite me? O would you invite me? Me invitarías. Cuando hacemos las preguntas, los auxiliares siempre van al principio. ¿Sí? Would you invite me? Oh, yes, of course. You come to my house, but you bring the snacks. Uh -huh. Porque si le dice, you will invite me, es como que, hmm, más te vale. Me vas a invitar. Yes. No hay idea. Solo eso, solo eso. Por lo demás, estuvo perfecto. Todos hicieron un excelente trabajo. Regálense un aplauso para todos, because all the dialogues were very good good job people 
No, nah, este ya lo vamos a pasar para avanzado 4. All right, moving on. Ya está, hoy sí ya estamos todos, ¿va? All right. So, we talk about make and do. And now we go with this. Ask and tell. For... Yes, Tati. Eh, yo, Procibel. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, I have a question. Eh, in, in the case of make, eh, you can say I, I prepare, uh, for example, a sandwich uh, instead of the make. Yes. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, prepare is good. Uh -huh. But the problem is that we cooking, you know, when you cook, it, it requires uh, a little bit, uh, a, a different process, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, pre was... prepare is good. Prepare, uh -huh. I'm preparing a sandwich. Uh, yes. Okay. Or make. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. No more questions? No. Victor, oh. can you read the slide, please? Perfect. Um, ask and tell. Messages. Ask. Request. Pedido. Plus verb. Tell. Statements. Oración. Plus S. Plus verb. Um, sorry. My subject. Plus, plus verb. My, plus complement. To form the request of the statements we can use please plus ask or tell would you ask or tell could you ask or tell so rephrasing ask and tell are kind of the same but what is the difference when i ask you something I'm asking you for a favor. And when I tell you something, I'm just giving you a message. Or I'm asking you to give a message to another person. Imagine this. Imagine we are on the phone and I tell you, Misael, you know, we have a, we have a meeting today with Sergio and Nydelin, but I can't go. Can you please tell them I won't go? Uh -huh. O sea, que les informe que no voy a ir. But if you complete the homework, can you ask them to give me a copy? ¿Le podrías pedir que me den la copia? Uh -huh. So there's a difference. Yo le, doy, yo le digo algo o le pido que diga algo o le pido que que pida algo, que, que, que pida algo. Yes, como un favor. See the difference? Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. We're going to have some exercises. Here. Ask versus tell. Based on the context, we are going to complete this exercise here. Oh, shoot, pero que podía escribir acá. Yeah. Oh, just let me copy them. Perdón. ¿Lo ven? Yes. All right, so we're going to complete with ask or tell. <clears throat> Misael, number one. Okay. Number one. Could, could mm -hmm. you... Could you tell Anna to call Elsa? Do you all agree? No. No. Why not? Yeah. Could you ask Anna to call Elsa? Is the correct? It's like more requesting, right? To do the favor. Yeah. 
Veámoslo también de esta forma, así como el nivel de, fo de formalidad de lo que estoy diciendo. Porque yo le decía, mira, puedes decirle que lo haga o puedes pedirle que lo haga. Ah, ok. En la diferencia. Could you ask? Could you ask? Anna to call Elsa. Anna to call Elsa. Mm -hmm. number two. Please tell Carmen to write an article. Article. Okay. Please tell Carmen to write an article. Right. What would be my key? What would be otra 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 clave? La formalidad con la que estoy diciendo algo. Porque decir please a decir could you, ¿cuál es más formal? Could you. Could you. Could you. Could you. Could you. Could you. So, cuando, cuando somos un poco más formal, we ask, not tell. Okay. okay. Eh, Dora, number three. Would you ask her I thought the dinner was delicious? Bueno, aquí, ese es uno de los complicaciones que tiene un poco el inglés también con la parte de las reglas, que como les dije, tiene mil reglas, mil excepciones. Hay que ver también la parte del contexto. Sí, es cierto, aquí está siendo bien formal, pero en realidad el mensaje que quiere decir, would you her I thought the dinner was delicious? ¿Le está pidiendo o le está diciendo? Darle un mensaje. Ajá, entonces, ask or tell. 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 Ajá. Pero si me acababa de decir que era como ask. Yes, but rules and exceptions. Rules and exceptions. Ajá. Yo como Poncio Pilatos, es el inglés, no yo. Right? <risa> Would you tell her I thought the dinner was delicious? Aquí le está diciendo que le dé el mensaje. Uh -huh. Decirle que yeah. la cena estuvo deliciosa. Eh, Adriana, number four. Sure. Would you tell your friend that picnic is going to be tomorrow? What? Excellent. Would you tell your friend that the picnic is going to be tomorrow? Te informal, verdad, que no se le olvide, que lleve los sándwiches. Uh -huh. eh, Jessica, number five. <laughs> Ahorita. Um... Puntualito. Please ask the teacher, no, please tell the teacher I don't understand the questions. What question? <laughs> tell the teacher I don't understand the question. Very good. Decirle que no explica bien, que debe confundir la regla. Good. Misael, oh, wait, wait, wait. Walter, number six. Okay. Could you ask my mom to let me go to the concert? Ok. Yo no tengo valor de decirle, por favor. Decirle, oh, ¿verdad? Pedirle que me dé permiso. Very good. Nunca les pasó eso, decir que le dijeron a su hermano que le pida permiso a su mamá porque a ustedes no les iba a dar. No. <laughs> my, Marisela. My, because I, I am... And my older. friends. You are a lonely child? You are an only child? Walter? No brothers. No, I never. I uh, because I am a, a older. Oh, ah, entonces ellos le decían a usted que le pida. Yeah. <laughs> en medio vienen los amigos. Digan ustedes. <laughs> All right, Maricela, number seven. Please tell the neighbors we are having a meeting on Thursday. Yes, inform them we have a meeting on Thursday. Uh, Melvin, number eight. Please uh, tell him that I want to travel soon. Yes, please tell him that I want to travel soon. Okay, if you inform, tell. If you request, ask. Give me one second because there's another exercise. All right. Give me one segundito. Do you see it? Yeah. 
Right now we have to put the sentences in order. Las tenemos que organizar. Number one. Who? Oh. Who? Everybody. Them. Who? Them. Them is the could you tell them? We don't have a space. Perfect. Could you tell me? Could you tell them we don't have space? And I'm buscando un cuarto, but sorry, we don't have space. Number two. Oui. Please, please, ask. please ask, ask to your please. grandmother. Please. Please ask your grandmother. Grandmother. Please. Bake cookies. To bake cookies. To bake for us. To bake cookies for us. For us. Remember, to bake el infinitivo. Please ask your grandmother to make cookies for us. This one? Would you ask? Would, would, would you, you ask? Ask? You ask, ask Jim, 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 call Jim, me, call me, to, to not call me, to not call me, to not, me. To not call me. I'm sorry. To not call me. Ya no le cayó bien, Jim, por favor, ya no me llame. Next, please, please, ask. please, ask. please, ask. Alexa. 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 Alexa, Alexa, to bring, to, to, to bring, bring apple pie to the picnic, apple pie to the picnic, apple pie, apple pie to the picnic, to the picnic, perfect. And the last one? Could, could you, could you tell, could you, you Brenda, Brenda, tell. Brenda, 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 the auction is on Saturday. Is on Saturday. Could you tell Brenda the auction is on Saturday? Give me a talk up. Question marks because those are questions. Please ask your number. Okay. Is it better now the difference between ask and tell? Yes? Or do you have any questions? No questions? No? All right, let's move on. Because I'm excited. Okay. Wait, give me a second. Permítame que se me mete otra página. Okay, so guys, now you're gonna do this. You're going to imagine that you are making a phone call and improvise a dialogue using ask and tell. If you can combine make and do, that'll be awesome as well. Si pueden combinar los dos, imagínense una situación, por ejemplo, están planificando la fiesta de cumpleaños de alguien y entonces ahí comienzan, ok, le puedes decir a Marisela que traiga las vejigas, le puedes pedir a Melvin que compre la soda, le puedes decir a Liz que, que no invite al teacher o whatever, así. Uh -huh. Yes? Vaya, voy a mandar al breakup room y todos los que están ahí van a tener que comenzar en el diálogo. Lo preparan, les voy a dar 10 minutos para que lo preparen. And when we come back, you are going to perform. Yes? Any questions before I send you to the breakout rooms? No? Y recuerden, inicio, cuerpo, final. ¿Cuál es el inicio? 
¿Cuál es el inicio? Hi. Hi, hello. Un saludo. Hi, hello. What's up? How's it going? Yeah. Body, todo lo demás. And the end, the closing. See you later, bye. The goodbyes or the farewells, right? Okay. Vamos a ver, vamos a mandar ahorita al breakout room para que se preparen. Go, 10 minutes. Ask, tell, make, do. Okay. Uh, Tatiana, are you here? Tatiana? Or maybe she's not here. Tatiana. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, no problem, Tatiana. Okay. Uh, we need a di dialogue. Okay, you you start the conversation. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Let me see. I'm gonna make a conversation. Yes. The, we need okay. the the you the structure us and mm -hmm. tell. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna a, a name. Uh, maybe Alex. Okay. okay. You're Ali. Okay. 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 Uh, for example, uh, Misael. Um, text with Diego. He used, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, the other uh, sentence. Would, would you like? To go picnic with me. Mm -hmm. uh, come up with the situation first. Where are you going? What are you going to do? So, Misael said picnic. All right. So, let's plan a picnic and you start. Hello, guys. What are you doing this Saturday? I don't know. I, I'm not doing anything. So, would you like to go to a picnic with me? Yes, yeah, that sounds fun. All right. So, Azucena, can you please tell Diego that he's in charge of? the food can you ask dora to buy some sodas y así la si pongan la situación primero y luego vayan el, con el diálogo así ¿Sí? ok mm. hi misael hi how are you? I'm fine. Can you write so that no se le forget? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. What? What is it? Let's see. What? 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 Me cuesta entenderle eso, teacher, la diferencia de una de otra. Una es decir y el otro es pedir. Would es pedir. No, oh, would es la invitación, no. De ask y tell, uno es decirle, el otro es. Ah, sí, 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 a eso sí, pero, pero para utilizar, es, bueno. Ah, el would es la invitación, would you like. Is, 
still. Mm, I don't know qué poner aquí. Ideas, niñas, ideas. Please tell. So the picnic, for the picnic, you have the food, you have the drinks, you have the, mm -hmm. the plates, you need glasses, you need games. So, le podrías decir a Xiomara que traiga esto, o le podrías pedir a, a Rosemary que compre la soda, o things like that. Uh -huh. Would you, would you ask to Rosemary if she would you ask Rosemary sin el tú? Would you ask Rosemary mm -hmm. if she can bring the snacks? Do would bring. you like? Como? Would you ask Rosemary to bring, que traiga, to bring? Ask to bring. No, bring, bring, no bring. Bring. BR, BR, bring the traer. Bring, mm -hmm. To bring the snacks? Bring that. Yes. I'm question. Uh... I will tell her. I will tell the decir tell. Okay. Hello. Uh, I'm going to the English 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 to the city to the ah uh, yeah, to the city. On weekend? Oh, well, on Saturday. I, I'm going to the, the, the restaurant. Chinese restaurant. Mexican. Me Mexican restaurant. Adriana's Mexican food. Mm. Mexican restaurant. I'm going to the Mexican restaurant uh, with my friends. With us. With, with but, you. But us. Uh, Mm. But right now, uh, only the, the woman, uh, yes, only the woman has the plan in this moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> English. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I don't know. Would, would you like to, to go to go with us? And he said, "Yes, of course. That sounds great. All right. That sounds great." And now, a uh, uh, she. Tell you that she tell her, tell him. Yeah, can you? I, can you tell Carolina that we uh, I want to <clears throat> I want to eat pizza. What program is that? Note notepad. <laughs> oh. Um, poner ahí, so, can you, can you tell to Carolina? Carolina, I'm not sure. Uh, 
If what? No. Uh, Jose, if I if I can to um, if how do you can. say? In this case, we don't we don't use to. Can you tell Carolina? Not to. Okay. Let me check. Uh, teacher, ¿cómo podría decir if you can, uh, si puedo traer las bebidas? If bring. you can bring, not to. Bring. If you can bring, sin to. Yeah. Drinks. If I can bring the drinks. Todavía no me. ¿Cuándo vas a terminar? Ya casi. ¿Cuándo vas a terminar? No me dijiste que querías comer. <laughs> Just one thing. Remember, we we don't use to. I would tell my brother. Um, but it is okay when. There, erase two. Yes. When we say, um, take us. Yeah. Llevarnos. I'll oh, tell okay. my brother to okay. take us. Yes. Okay. Is that correct? I will tell my brother if he can take us. Would you okay. tell him or would you ask him? It's uh, hell. All right, but it's no, a no, no, I no, would, my no. brother, if you're asking a question. Entonces, ask. Yes, if you use if, yeah, I will ask my brother if, if he can take us. Si nos puede llevar. Si no, tendría que decir, I would, I would tell my brother to take us. Me está corrigiendo. Can take off. That's it? Okay. Yes. yes, we finish. All right. Practice it. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Simara. How are you? I am fine. Rosemary, and you, how are you? I feel good. Girls, I have an idea. Let's have a picnic. That's great. Hey guys, you ready? Uh, yes. Okay. Practice it. Yeah, yes. Okay. okay, guys, let's go. Yeah. Hi, Fernando, how are you? Yes, I can. Ah, diría. Hello, Paola. Yes, I can bake them. Sí, mm -hmm. Yes, I can bake them. Va, si quieren comenzamos otra vez. Mm -hmm. okay. Hello, Paola. My brother's birthday party is on Friday. Would you ask Rosibel to bake the cookies? Hello, Nigelin. Give me a moment and I ask her. Okay, um, hello, Rosibel. Um, Nigelin told me if you could bake cookies to her brother's birthday. 
Hello, Paola. Yes, I can bake them. I will tell, tell my sister to help me prepare them. Um, okay, thank you, Rosibel. See you. Neither um, Rosibel told me that she can bake the cookies. You're on mute. Microphone. Nadelin. I need. <laughs> Thanks for asking, Paula. See you on Friday at the party. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Nice, nice. Be ready forward to do it in front of everybody. What to do it. Oh, teacher. Hi. Um, Yesenia had problem with her internet. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Jana is here. Mm -hmm. Well, just do it yourself. But just do it, you too. Lo hacemos nosotros. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. Hi, Fernando. How are you? I am fine. And you? I am fine. What are you doing? I am watching TV. Are you in your house with your sister, Monica? Yes, I am with my sister. Could you ask Monica to stay with me tonight? Yes, uh, Monica Fernando say, do you want to stay with him tonight? Yes, yeah, that's so nice. Please tell him that we met at 8 o'clock. Fernando, Monica say yes and says you met at, at uh, 8 o'clock. Okay, thank you later. Bye, see you later. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Right, be ready to present in front of everybody. Espacios cómodos. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Eh, sorry. Eh, tell about what? The, uh, before they finish the day, you can put, uh, please tell them. Uh, we use a comfortable shoes. Uh -huh. Yes. To wear. Wear. Sorry. Please tell. Please tell them. Them. Yes. Where. 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 To wear. To, to wear. Ah, to wear. Please tell them to wear. Comfortable. Comfortable shoes. 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 Comfortable shoes. Comfortable shoes. Yes. Okay. That's a great. That's a. Almost nine. Wonderful plan. Wonderful. And goodbye, right? Yeah. Good. Uh, see you in. Hey, what are you doing here? What happened to you guys? What are you doing here? You were supposed to be practicing. <laughs> All right, you're ready. Yeah, we're ready. All right, Let's, let me bring everybody back. Damn, today is hotter than normal. Welcome back.
So Gabby, today glasses, Maricela not glasses today. Who's gonna be first? I edit. You I travel guess. every day. You always drive. What are you going? I, I I going to sell. Um, I go to my busy my clean. Your? I going to visit my clean. Your clinic. Cliente. Ah, clients. 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 Okay. Clients. okay. What do you sell? I sell accessory for or phone accessories. Okay, nice. All right. All right, guys. Who's gonna break the ice? Volunteers? Nobody. Third year? Who? Great teacher. Alan, okay. Yeah. Alan and company. Okay. Mari. Hey, who are uh, you, sir? Hi, partners. What are you doing? One second. One second. Hi, Mario. I'm cooking right now. Hi, Mario. I am practicing English. Hello, Mario. I'm listening English music. Mario, could you ask Melvin and Alan what they want to eat at night, please? Sure. Melvin and Alan, Carolina asked me, what do you want to eat for dinner? Well, tell Carolina that we want to eat pizza. Yes, I tell her. So, so and you, Melvin? Uh, so, can you tell Carolina if I can bring drinks? Okay, wait a minute. Um, Carolina, um, Melvin told me if he can bring drinks. Yeah, of course he can bring Coca-Cola. See you at night, guys. See you. See you. See you. See you. <laughs> All right, nice. Good job. Give him a round of applause. Perfect. You used it. You used the structures very appropriate. Only one thing. Esto creo que va también a ser algo que vamos a estudiar más later on. Pero esto. We can see you screen. Oh, you can't? Or, Sorry. Or, or, or not? I don't know. I can see. Am I not sharing? No está compartiendo. Mario, ¿puede decir la pregunta donde le estaba preguntando qué, qué querían de comer? Um, Carolina asked me, what do you want to have for dinner? There's something... In English, that's cool. What is the name? Wait, I forgot the name. Yeah, this, 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 this. Indirect questions. We have direct questions and indirect questions. In the case of when you're saying, you could decir o preguntar a la hora de llegar a la pregunta ya no lo hacemos en modo de pregunta sino que como que fuera una afirmación Carol, Caroline Carol, Carolina I'm sorry ask me what you want to have for dinner Carolina asked me what you want to have for dinner. So me pidió que, me preguntó qué es lo que quieren comer. This is an indirect question, but this is like a capsule informativa. We will go through this later on. Se lo van a aprender un poquito más allá, pero solo para que tengamos una noción cuando hacemos preguntas indirectas. 
But the rest, it was perfect. Usaron las estructuras mejor no pudo haber sido. Congratulations, guys. Did it great. Who's next? Hey, who's next? Come on, guys. Okay, Diego and company. But one partner is going. Improvise. <laughs> okay. Um, Who are your partner? Partner, Dora. Dora? Hi. Uh, hi, hi, Dora. How are you? Hi. Hi, Diego. Hi, Andrew. I'm very well. So, do you have any plans for for weekend? And in this moment, I don't have a plan. Okay. I'm thinking, would you like to to do something in on Friday in the afternoon? Oh, sound fun. Okay. Um, so, um, if the if he if she will to be in the picnic on Friday side in Saturday, on Friday Saturday. Yes, I can. Okay. No. Hi, Yasu. Hi, Dora. How are you? I'm pretty good. Would you like to come with Diego and me to the picnic? Yes, I will. I, I want. Uh, when will that be? It's on Friday in the afternoon. Okay, I'm going to bring some fruit. Okay, yes, we'll see you. Okay, see you there. Diego? No Let's more? finish. Okay. No more. It's All right, time. guys. Good job. Give them a round of applause, everybody. Okay, it was, it was very good structure. So no more poquito problema con la conexión, but at the end, it was, it was nice to understand. Excelente, excelente. Gabriela and company. Okay, with Yamara and, oh yeah, and Rosemary. Rosemary. Hi, Gabi. Hmm. Hi, Yamara, how are you? You're on mute. <laughs> Hi, Jamara. How are you? Silent. <laughs> five. Or high oh, five. Me está fallando. High five. High five. <laughs> Sorry. Five. That's fine. I, I am fine. Rosemary, and you, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Yes, I will be Rosemary because she left. Okay. And you, Gabi? But she got the idea that we have a picnic. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Um, sounds good, Rosemary. I have an idea. Let's have a picnic, Yamara. Would you ask to would you ask to Rosemary to bring the snacks? Yes. We will tell her. Perfect. I will tell to my brother if he can take us. Okay. Could you tell Rosemary to bring a cake and soda? Yes. All right. See you on Sunday, girl. See you on Sunday, girls. Take care. See you. Bye. Me dejaron afuera. Qué mal, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you excluded me. <laughs> nice. Good job. Adriana. Yes, teacher. What's your partner? Um, Sergio, Victor, and Liz. I guess she's, I uh, guess Liz left too. Liz, yeah. oh, there she is. Huh, where were you? Okay. 
Ajá. Ok. 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 Eh, I start. Um, hi, Adriana. How are you? Hi, I'm very fine. Where is Liz? I haven't seen for her for a long time. Yes. She is in the city. She came to the city for you. Oh, that's excellent. On Saturday, I'm going to the Mexican restaurant with Gabriel. Would you like to go with us? Yes, of course. That sounds great. Could you ask Marie Elise to come with us at Mexican restaurant? Yes, um, I will tell her the plans. She will be happy to know. Oh, will you ask uh, Gabriel to carry us in my house? Yes, um, it's a good idea. We will meet at the restaurant. Okay. What time will we meet in the restaurant? Oh, I don't know. Uh, that's no uh, Sergio. Sergio know that. And... It's all for us. So, yeah. And here I start uh, my here I start my uh, other classmates. Okay. Okay. Continue, Liz and I. Oh, you split it. All right. All right. Go. Oh, at five o'clock. Please continue with the other part. Please, you're on mute. It's, it's great. And after to the dinner, we can walk to on the street or in the park to finish the day. Please tell them to wear comfortable shoes. That's a wonderful plan. OK, see you on Saturday. OK, take care. Bye, take care. Hi. <laughs> all right, all right, very good. Very good job. Yes. Adriana, what did you mean when you say, can you uh, tell my brother something like that to carry us? I, the, can you say I it again? The pick up of read it? Up. Can you read it? Up, up. No. Would you ask Gabriel to carry us in my house? Hmm. Would you ask? Have you have you have you have you seen the statue of Atlas? Saben cuál es la estatua de Atlas? No. No. Atlas es uno de los dioses que fue castigado y tiene que sostener el mundo en su espalda. ¿Por qué la referencia? Carry es traer algo. Like, like. Ah, okay. So if you say like that, su hermano me imagino que es super strong. <risa> porque va a levantar la casa oh, y nos okay. va a llevar a todos ustedes. <risa> Carry in my house. Es like, me llevo a la casa. O en el carro la sube y se van todos en la casa. Yeah. If you were trying to say, le podrías decir a mi hermano que nos lleve a la casa, así, o que nos traiga a la casa. Re recoger era, el, o sea, de, de pasar a Recogernos traer. en la casa. Uh -huh. En la casa de Adrián. Yeah. Right, uh -huh. En la que es, would, would you used to care. Oh, ¿Por qué puse eso? Ask. ¿Quién era? Ah, Brian, digamos. Would you ask Brian to pick up pick up us in my house? Pick up us. Pick up us. Would you tell Brian to pick up us in our in my house? So it va a llegar en el carro y se lo va a llevar solo a ustedes la casa y se queda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no don't, don't take nuestro... the house away. No confiamos. Adriana will be nuestro... homeless. What are you? 
No confiamos en nuestro, ah, en, en nuestro, en nuestro <risa> conocimiento. Ajá. No, 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 no. Don't worry, We're making mistakes for the process. Creímos que, que pick up era no, para, pick up. para levantar algo. Two, it's two. Like se me cayó el cell phone, pick it up, please. Oh, okay. But it's, it, it also means to, uh, to get someone in some place and take him to another one. Like my, 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 my aunt is coming from the United States for August. So I will go to pick her up. No, no es a levantarla, verdad? No hay que atraerla. Okay. En ese contexto, el significado es traer, no levantar. Okay. And it's correct to say take. Take us in my house or it's encouraged. No, if you say take us, it's like 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 from take you from one place to another one. Oh, yeah. ser, can you tell Brian to take us to the party? O sea que nos lleve a la fiesta. Yeah, yeah. No que nos recoja, sino que, que nos lleve. Yeah, okay. Pero literally, que usted está aquí y quiere que el fulano llegue acá, lo suba al carro y se lo lleve, pick up. No carry. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's fine. Don't say sorry. Sorry for Adriana porque se iba a quedar sin casa. But anyhow. <laughs> All right, Mario. Why are you so serious today, Mario? What's going on? Where's your smile? Go. Who do you, who's your partner or your partners? Um, to the dialogue? Yep. Um, um, ah, so you work with Carolina, Carolina right? Yes. I'm sorry, I, Alan, you work with Carolina. I don't. With yeah. Carolina, Kevin, and Alan. Ya ve, como está todo serio, ni me acordaba que lo había hecho. <laughs> so, Walter and Jose Roberto. Yeah, yeah. Jose Roberto, you ready? I was born ready. Yeah, I Uh, yeah, well. Jose Roberto, he's not here. He came back. Yes, yes. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, hi, Fernando. How are you? I am fine. And you? I am fine. What are you doing? I am watching TV. Are you in your house with your sister Monica? Yes, I am with my sister. Could you ask Monica today with me tonight? Yeah, yes. Uh, Monica Fernando say, do you want today with him tonight? Yeah, that sounds nice. Please tell him that we meet at eight o'clock. Fernando, Monica say yes and say you meet at eight o'clock. Okay, thanks. See you later. Bye, see you later. Awesome, good job. Give him a round of applause for that. Date. You don't date with someone. You date someone. Can you tell your sister to, in, well, in, actually, instead of saying date, date is more like a noun, not a verb. Would you like to have a date with me? Es más como nombre que verbo. In this case, it is more common to say, go out. Will you ask uh, Adriana, if she wants to go out with me on Friday. Yeah, she wants, she does. Right. And don't forget auxiliary people. Yo, do, in two occasions, hablaron de futuro y no le pusieron el auxiliar. So, hay que tener cuidado con eso. No ustedes, sino que así en general. Be careful. Siempre hay que usar los auxiliares para expresar el tiempo. Nydeline. Eh, I, Paola. Is here. Yeah, she's here. And Rosibel is here. Rosibel? Hello? I think. She left? Mm. Improvising. Improvising. Hello, Paola. My brother's birthday party is on Friday. Would you ask Rosibel to bake the cookies? Hello, Nydaline. Um, give me a moment and I ask her. Okay, um, <clears throat> hello, Rosibel. Nydaline told me if you could bake cookies to her brother's birthday. 
Okay. Yes, of course, no problem. I, I asked him to bake the cookies. Okay. What kind of cookies would you like? Uh, chocolate chips or vanilla chips? Um, chocolate chips, are, it's okay. All right, all right. I take care of it. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. See you. Um, Nadine, um, Rodrigo told me that she can bake the cookies for the birthday. Um, she bake uh, chocolate cookies. Oh, thanks for asking. See you on Friday at the party. Bye. Goodbye. Nice. Good job. Give them a round of applause. Stay. Keep it simple. Simple and precise. Melvin. What's behind you? ¿Qué hay detrás de usted? Um, closet. ¿Y hay alguien ahí? No. Okay. <laughs> I swear to God, I saw it opens and it closed. No, no quiero asustar, pero se abrió y se cerró. Vamos a ver el video. Um, <laughs> oh, my, my sister. Ah, okay. All right, all right. Solo pasó. Ok. All right. Feel better. Creí que ya estaba en uno de esos episodios ahí de Hunter House. All right, guys. Good job. So, make, do, ask, tell. Four different uh, words for different uses. When do we use ask and when do we use tell? Tell me before we leave. ¿Qué? No puede ser. Well, yes. Ask for request. And tell to inform to yeah. information. Yeah. Yeah. Y a qué horas hicieron las 12 ustedes? ¿Y? Padre bendito. ¿Y por qué no me dijeron, teacher, la clase? Ah, es como... <laughs> Estaba todo emocionado. <laughs> All right. Well, at least we it, means that, it means that you liked it. <laughs> ¿Por qué decir que estábamos bien? Ni sentía que llegamos a las 12. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. I have to go to work. Ya me agarró la tarde para. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye. Yeah. See you tomorrow. See you. <laughs>